I'll tell you one of the stories which broke my fantasy. I was, I was in the north of Thailand. I was, I'm looking for these, these secluded monasteries. I found one with nice food. People didn't bother you over there. But it was a very big festival day. And when you had a lot of people coming to the monastery, they were disturbing my meditation. But you know, you had to be there for the meal, and the monk was giving this chart and this talk. But I had been in that monastery for quite a few days, so I tried to slip away. But as soon as I went away, the people come and ask me questions. And I was only a young monk, I didn't know much you know, about meditation or much uh, teaching, so I didn't really need to know very much because all they, they weren't, even the lay people, they weren't interested in deep meditation or Buddhism. All they were interested in was me. They kept on asking the same question. They said, well, what country do you come from? <laughs> and you know, how many brothers and sisters have you got? And, you know, what did you, you know, where did you go to school and did you go to college and what food did you eat? And all those simple questions which people ask you when they haven't seen like a Westerner before. And when people after people ask you the same question, you get so bored. There's hundreds of people, thousands of people came to monitor for this big festival they all ask the same question. Where are you from? How many brothers and sisters have you got? Where did you go to college? All those stupid questions. What food do you eat over there? I got so bored that I decided to sneak away and I was successful. I managed to sneak into my hut, quickly grab a bottle of water and a cushion and a flashlight and sneak into one of the caves. This was north of Thailand, some very, very deep caves. And I'd explored them before and I'd meditated in them before and I found the deepest of those caves. It was really remote and I had to sort of <coughs> crawling up some passages and go left and right. It was maybe a hundred meters deep to the end of the, of the tunnel. And when I got there I thought, great, I've escaped. And I sat down there with my bottle of water and my cushion and a flashlight. No one will bother me here. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Only five minutes, five minutes was all I had when I heard the sound of something coming along the, the passages of the, tu of the cave. I opened my eyes and because it was like a bend in the end of the tunnel, I could see a light getting brighter and brighter as they came closer. I could hear their noises. And I thought, oh my goodness, they're coming in my direction. But I had a chance because one of them, one of these Thai people, when they came to the, to the corner, and they poked their head around the, cor the corner. They saw me sitting there in meditation. And immediately he was afraid and pulled his head back and I heard the conversation. There's a ghost at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> That's what they thought. And I thought I had a chance here. There's a ghost at the end of the tunnel. And the other one said, there can't be. Yes, there is. Let's get out of here. <laughs> so let's have a look. And so two heads came around the corner. <laughs> very quickly and they pull their heads back again and that's when I heard the, the very very sad conversation no it's not a ghost it's a western monk <laughs> that was very disability and they looked around yeah it's a western monk so they all came about 20 of them they'd been so bored with the sermon of the senior monk they too had decided to go and explore the caves and they had to explore the cave which I was in so they came right up to me sat down and said what country are you from? <laughs> How many brothers and sisters have you got? <laughs> oh, it was just so dispiriting. <laughs> Even the end of the 100 meter cave, you couldn't get away from these people. <laughs> so, I realised my mistake. But that's what it's like, being a monk. You can't escape from those things. Right? Even when I came to Australia, I had a fantasy, because I heard, you know, in the Nullarbor Plain, they've got these amazing caverns underneath the Nullarbor. 